1865 days. It has been 1865 days since we sat on our bench at Maasai College and I held your hand as I asked you to be my girlfriend. It's so hard to believe this day is finally here. God has been so good to us, and I'm overwhelmed at the blessings we have been given. Who's next? Oh, man. Good you good, man. You good. Thanks, guys. <laughs> feels good. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Sick look, dude. <laughs> I was like, dude. I'm like, look at that stud. But like, right on the back of my hand, as she's like putting the ring on, you just see my face <laughs> staring at her. Subtle. Yep, yep. And she'll just see it somewhere throughout the, like, throughout the evening. This is a love story, but actually, in truth, this love story didn't begin with the bride and groom. It's a love story that's much older and it's the story of God's love for humanity. And when we understand this greater story of God's love, it puts into perspective what this day means. And what Nick and Britta are looking for is to experience a love in their marriage that is better than any fairy tale, better than happily ever after. Before God created any government, any nation, or even any religious structure, God created marriage. It was His idea. He is the author. Therefore, He has the authority over what marriage should look like. And God created this marriage relationship so that people could observe and see and witness so that they would have an idea of what the covenant-keeping love of God looks like. <laughs> when I look at you, I see Jesus. I see his love. I see his grace. I see his mercy. I see his compassion. I see his strength. And I see his beauty. The love of Christ is so abundant in you that it becomes evident to anyone you come into contact with. Nick, your heart for Jesus, love for others, compassion, patience, and joy are things I will cherish and nurture for the rest of my life. Your love for Jesus has done things in my life that I am beyond thankful for. It is what made me attracted to you when we first started dating. It is what made me fall in love with you. It is what made me find my best friend in the one that I love. And it is what makes me want to spend the rest of my life with you. Moving on to the next Yes, we're getting there. We can progress. Nick, it's your duty to love Britta as you love yourself, to provide tender leadership, to protect her from danger. Keep her always under your protection but never under your shadow. So allow me to charge you both to remember that your future happiness is to be found in mutual consideration, patience, kindness, 
confidence and affection. Britta, it's your duty to treat Nick with respect, to support him, to be a source of strength and encouragement in your family, allowing your tender and thoughtful personality to truly set the tone for this union. So here we are, on day 1,866. No more miles on the road. No more phone calls to say goodnight. No more counting down the days to see each other again. Today, you will put on a white dress, and I will put on a suit and tie, and I will get to experience the unmatched joy of watching you walk towards me on your father's arm as my bride. There's your bride. <laughs> the past 1,865 days have not exactly been traditional nor have they been easy. God has always shown us how to love one another and grow closer together in more beautiful ways than we could have possibly imagined. It's my greatest joy growing and dreaming with you. I cannot wait to spend the rest of my days as your wife, worth every moment of waiting. Nick and Britta, it gives me great joy to say to you, by the power that's vested in me, by the state of New York and as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Nick, you may kiss your bride. May I present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas and Britta Weeder. <laughs> so if you're gonna run, run with me If you got a drum, I've got your A friend is someone who knows a song in your heart and can sing it back to you when you've forgotten the words. Britta has been there singing my song back to me more times than I can count. So those of you who have had the pleasure of knowing Nick for many years, only recently, you've undoubtedly figured out that Nick has a knack for humor. He's funny, smart, char- sorry Nick, I can't read your handwriting. I'll have to get back to that later. <laughs> so if you're gonna run, then run with me. If you got a drum, I've got you be. You are my greatest gift on earth, and I cannot express how excited I am to begin a new life together, full of pursuing Jesus and pursuing each other. I, I love, love you forever. forever. I like you for always. So there's no love.